Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video today about a subject that the Lord put on my heart. We've all heard the story of the prodigal son, Luke 15, 11, 32. But in, in what, we've heard this preached so many ways and taught so many ways, and sometimes we forget about the prodigal son himself. So why was it, why did he want to get his inheritance and just leave home? Well, the reason he did is because he always had his eyes somewhere else. He was always thinking about how someone else lived or what somebody else had or just being someplace else. And a lot of times we have the same problem. Now, I'm not going to go through and read the, the parable of the prodigal son, but I'm sure you've read it. And if not, you should go back and read it. It's important. But he always had his eyes somewhere else, and he wanted something else. The farm life wasn't good for him. Working for his dad wasn't good enough. So he wanted to be and have other things. So his father, did. he gave him a portion of his goods, and he was gone. Well, we know how that turns out. So in our life, I really believe the reason Jesus told us this parable, and it's still with us today, is because it's... It works. It's the truth. And I meet so many people and I get emails and different things. People write me. And they they just lose their drive or their the reason why they're where they're at. or And they just get confused and their mind starts to wonder. And of course Satan's there to help you drift. He wants you to drift, your mind to drift somewhere else. On another person even. At to live in another place and the eyes never satisfied the bible talks about well here's the thing is what is the value of your husband or wife and your kids and i was sitting laying on the bed and i was thinking about this and it just hit me um like well, i'll do this from a man's perspective but you can take it and turn it for a ladies as well so what is a what is your wife doing what does she do for you that makes her so valuable well, <laughs> she's there every waking moment in your good moods and your bad moods. And she believes in you when no one else will even listen. I mean, she even lays awake at night thinking about what's best for you to eat. She thinks about your nutrition, your health, your, your happiness. She lays there at night worrying about this, not to mention the kids as well. And she prays for you like no other person. Maybe your mom and dad. But your wife prays just a little bit better. And has a little more invested from a relationship standpoint. But she prays for you. Even when you're mad at her, you're mean to her, you're grouchy, you're grumpy, something in life ain't working. Or you're just not happy like what this, this video is about. And she's still praying for you. Or he's still praying for you, ma'am. And they're there for you 24-7. So what is that worth? Well, it's worth everything to have an ally, to a partner, a person that believes in you no matter what. They are the other half of your heart. There's no question. There is a, a wife or a husband is invaluable if they're doing the right things. So together, you're strong. Separately, you're weak. So, now the next question is, is what about kids? I mean, what are, what are kids worth? Well, to raise one, now these are rough numbers, but to raise one, it roughly, cost, if there's no problem, costs $160,140. That's just a guesstimation. That's a governmental guesstimation. So, let's break this down. So, for that amount of money, you think, wow, I don't know, man, that's a lot for my kids. And, well, here's how it breaks down. That is $24.20 a day, roughly, per child. So when you break that down, that's a dollar an hour is what it's going to cost you to raise a kid and have a child in your life. So, I mean, what is that worth to you? Is that valuable? Well, what do you get for an hour or for a dollar an hour? Well, yeah. Well, first of all, you get to, to be a doctor. For a hug, a smile, a lollipop, or a bug juice, 
you get, you're a healer. You can literally change a child's day, make a scraped knee or a bump on the head almost instantly better, and then throw a hug on top of it. You're a healer. I mean, you can do anything, right? I mean, <laughs> when you look into a child's face or your spouse's face, you should see the face of God. Whenever you make them laugh, you should hear the voice of God. I mean, that's exactly what a family, the value of a family is worth. When you make a child laugh and you make it happy, yeah, it, it's, it's, you see and hear God. You hear Jesus. <laughs> this is what the value of life's about. If you want to know what your value is, that's your value. That's what all this is worth. And stop letting your eye go to somewhere else like the prodigal son and wondering, what well, I, I wish I had this or I wish I had that. Only to, if you get it, you'll be like the prodigal son. If you get a new car or you get a motorcycle that, that causes you to sin. If you do all these things and it makes you sin and, and turn away from God and your family, well, then you are the prodigal son. You're turning away what's important. So be happy with what you have. Look at your wife or your husband or look at your kids and know that this is God's time for you. Make it work. Be happy of what you, with what you have. Being happy is a conscious decision to say, I'm going to be happy. And then you have God on top of it. And if you don't ask Jesus to forgive you your sins, come in your heart, the Father will be there through His Son, Christ Jesus. He'll send the Holy Spirit to make you strong. But for a dollar a day, you can raise a, a child. Or a dollar an hour, you can raise a child. $24.20 a day. It's priceless. I mean, that's a small investment for what you get back. This is what this video is about. I want you to learn to be happy with what you have. The Bible said if I make, if you're faithful over a few things, he'd make you ruler over many. If you're faithful over your family, there's something coming that's even better. And that's grandkids. I know. You get to get grandkids, and then you get to, to love them, hug them, squeeze them, kiss them. And when you get tired, you get to send them home. <laughs> Just send them right home, and then you have to rest. Believe me, when you get this age, you got to rest a lot. So, I mean... And then after, you get to see what you did with that child and your wife. You get to see it on to the next generation. And there's nothing in the world like it. So today, choose to be happy. Be happy with what you have. Don't let your eye wander. Don't wonder what's over there. Because the grass always looks greener on the other side. But crabgrass is green too. So is poison ivy. It's, it's no good. Bloom where you're planted. And that's the end of this video. I just wanted to say that bloom where you're planted and be thankful for what you have. And the small investment that you put into your spouse and your kids and your job will all pay off. I promise you. So stick it out. Stay strong. And I'll be back real soon. I love you with all my heart. And I pray that Jesus bless you. In his name, be blessed. And be happy. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.